Hello, my name is Jody Wilmus. I am product manager for Thermwood's Cut Ready product line. This is the first in a series of short videos to give you a better understanding of what Cut Ready is all about, what it can do for you, and how it can benefit your business. Before I show you around the machine though, it's important to know the differences between CNC machines and cut centers. Starting with CNC machines, there are some mandatory requirements and expenses that you must account for. As some of you already know, CNC machines are only a small piece of the puzzle. So let's begin with employees. A CNC machine generally requires multiple employees to keep your operation running smoothly. First, you gotta have someone to run it, a CNC operator. This person requires training because it's not just about pushing buttons and loading parts. They usually have to handle machine maintenance, they have to manage and recognize dull tooling, they have to be able to recover from broken tools if they're in the middle of a job or a program. They'll also need to understand the code that they're running so they can manage or modify programs out on the floor on the fly. Second, you gotta have someone to program it, a CNC programmer. When it comes to training, this is the person you really want to invest in. They're usually paid pretty well because they not only have to be trained to operate the machine, but they also have to know how to design product and write the programs. When writing programs, they have to know which type of tooling works best for a particular operation and how to properly use them. This includes cutting direction, spindle speeds, how fast to cut, how many passes to take, and a lot of times it can depend just on the type of material, even down to the species of wood that they are machining. They need to know about different types of joinery, when to use them, best fit clearances to use, and how to adjust for true material thickness and edge banding. All of this is required to ensure parts properly fit together, are dimensionally correct, free of chipping, and parts are exactly flush with each other when needed. Um, now let's talk about the next expense, software. In cabinetry, kitchen design software is a staple for most companies, and this can run from a couple to tens of thousands of dollars for a decent package. And if you wanted to output code to a particular machine, there's usually an added expense on top of that. In the past, you typically purchased the software outright with a maintenance fee, which covered all of your updates and your support. However, more and more software companies now lock you into a costly service fee that you have to pay monthly. Uh, so don't miss that payment. Uh, so, so far you've got your three main additional expenses. You've got your operator, you've got your programmer and or designer, and you've got your software. So at minimum, these are the things required just to get production rolling on a CNC machine, which in itself can be quite stressful. I mean, think about it. There's usually this mad rush to get it up and running as soon as possible. After all, time is money, and you've got that first machine payment coming up. The employees are stressed, the boss is stressed, he's watching over his employees, stress turns into mistakes, mistakes turn into accidents. So hopefully you didn't damage your machine, but if you did, you're gonna be behind. Things might need to be realigned, parts need to be replaced. In my 20 plus years, I've seen this scenario play out over and over. I've seen the startup time take months before things get running smoothly because they're working out and ironing out all the fine details. So be sure to factor in the learning curve, which for new owners can be quite steep. And by the way, you will crash your CNC machine. It may not be right away, but you will. So do your research on customer support. Uh, ask for average turnaround times. Do they stock the parts or are they coming from overseas? Better yet, talk to existing machine owners. Ask them how long they were down when things went south. Support, whether it's for mechanical issues or help with programming, is gonna be key to your survival. So I may have gotten a little off track there, but so far I've laid out how CNC machines typically work out, along with their additional expenses. So let's move on to what a cut center is. A cut center is a machine that looks similar to a CNC router, but works completely different. Instead of generating programs that tell the machine how to move, it already knows how to move. Therefore, it doesn't require a programmer. A cut center already knows how to make products, tens of thousands of products as a matter of fact. Uh, you simply tell it what you want, how you want it made, and it makes it. Now this is a revolutionary approach to manufacturing 
that can be run by just about anyone. I mean, it doesn't take any special technical skills, it doesn't require extensive training, and it's very intuitive. It actually tells you what to do, shows you what to do, and connects you to a live person if you want. This is manufacturing for real people. Using a cut center is simple by answering a few questions. Uh, you know, what do you want to do? Well, I want to make something. Uh, what do you want to make? I want to make cabinets or furniture, doors, drawers. Maybe I want to make some moldings or just some basic shapes. You know, you, you just you just select one. Uh, how do you want to make it? You know, the details like frameless or framed, attached or detached toe kicks, construction types, you, you get the idea. You then see the images of all the products that you've asked for, made the way you want it. You touch one, you can view a 3D model to move, rotate or explode. Uh, you can adjust the size, you can add it to your job, and then you're ready to cut. Now, running this machine is like nothing you've seen before. I mean, it takes you by the hand and guides you step by step. Uh, you communicate to it with a clicker you wear on a magnetic necklace. Uh, no reason to go around to the screen every time you need to do something. And if you don't understand even the simplest instruction, it plays a video showing exactly what to do. It takes a different approach, a better, easier approach to traditional practices. Uh, for example, if parts need to be machined on both sides, the machine starts doing the back operations first on the full sheet. Then it flips the entire sheet over and completes the front operations. So when the parts are cut out, they're done, front and back. It manages your tools, tracks tool life, measures your tools, manages your wasteboard, turns vacuum on and off, even the pump, and generally does all the complicated things automatically so you don't have to. With a cut center, you could be making product the same day it gets installed. That means you could be generating income almost immediately. So now that we've discussed the main differences between CNC machines and cut centers, our next videos will get into the details of the cut center. So my name is Jody and I'll see you soon.